Welcome to Delphian Training. My name is Josh Schmidtberger. I'm a training strategist at Delphian. This video, we will be going through general navigation of the system. So when you first log in, you'll come into our dashboard. On the dashboard, you see there's a market overview, commodities, bonds, sector ETFs, currencies. These all provide whether they're bullish or bearish based off of our state modeling, which is our proprietary buy-sell indicator. To the bottom right, there's a market pulse, which provides an overview of all symbols that we track, whether they're bearish or bullish, and gives you a general, good general indication of market. To the top right, we have different boards that you can select you want to see stocks that have performed best within sectors, you can select the sector leaderboard. Here you can see it has the top performance over the last month for all the different sectors. Anytime you want to go back to the dashboard, you just click this button up here. So the menu to the left, to expand it, we just click the sandwich bar. We have different modules, stocks, options, earnings, backtest, organizer, and brokerage. Under stocks, we have different pages they can go into. Those will be covered in a different video. The same with options, earnings, backtest, and organizer. Organizer provides anything that you've done within the system will be saved within the organizer under these different categories and then brokerage you signed up for a commission-free trading through trade Ear, our brokerage partner then your account will be a link through this module here one quick thing with the stocks under the watch list if you have stocks that you want to track that actively actively what you can do is just Add in different symbols here. If you want to do GM and Ford, just click the save and you can see they're added here. If you want to delete one, just select it, hit delete. And also create different watch lists if you want. So if you have multiple accounts, like a brokerage, an IRA, and you want to track symbols, you can build it here. Up to the top are hotkeys. So the brokerage will take you to the brokerage overview. Wizards is our back test uh, engine. So basically this will walk you through different types of back tests. We have different trades, signal, monthly, weekly, et cetera. Those will be covered in a separate video. Back test, this shows you all your previous back tests that you've completed. And also, you can do custom back tests up here. Stock overview. Let's take you to the stock overview page. If we want to look at GM, it'll provide you the profile, state modeling, all these different tabs that you can click through here. Screener. We have different types of screeners that will be covered in depth in a separate video. This plus button is a quick create. So if you want to create a signal, you just go through, you can click, you know, put in your parameters. You want to do MACD and price or anything like that. You can create it here and it will be saved in your organizer. The bell is an alert button. So if you had back tests that had been running and completed, then you'll get an alert here. Daily alerts will be populate here if you have those created. And the same as if you created entry exit dates. And when we're waiting for those complete, they'll pop up here once they're done. So we go back to the dashboard. This calendar up here is 
a time machine so we can go back and look at different dates all the way back to 2007. And this works throughout the system and our state modeling on charts and everything. So if we wanted to see the market overview, 2016, June 15th, let's click the dates and it'll populate. You can go minus, you can go day back or a day forward, simply by clicking the minus or plus button. One thing of note, I've done this many times where I've gone back and forgot that I changed the date. So anytime you want to come back to current date, then hit the reset date. Our system is an end of day system. So, you know, we get over a million pieces of data after the close. We have to do those and process them with our state modeling, uh, screeners, and the like. So, that process is usually complete by 7 or 8 p.m. Eastern time. Next button is the help button. If you click on that, it'll take you to an external page. At the bottom, we have a few guides, uh, getting started guide, the back test guide, the state modeling guide. If you click those, it'll open up the state modeling guide. It's a very good overview, goes in detail on our proprietary buy-sell indicator, which is called state modeling. Uh, And then here are the tabs you can click and go into different sections that you want where you can type in search at the top if you want to look for MACD. I'll tell you here's MACD information for the signal. The far right red arrow is the logout under my username Josh Demo. You can go in and change your profile if you want to change you know, your email, um, phone number, user ID, same with the password. Under general settings, these are just preferences throughout the website that you can set. For example, if you want to use candlesticks on all your charts, then hit candlesticks, hit save. And you can see it was saved successfully, so now all my charts will be candlesticks. <clears throat> we also have you know, a tab for strategy design. If you want to risk a certain amount, you can create that, and then select here, one contract. So now it only trade one contract unless I call it otherwise. Same with strategy options. If you want to just use a naked put, you, know, you can build these yourself and make them as your default. Once again, once you hit to save, wait for it to save, save successfully. So it's just a general navigation here. We'll have more videos on specifics. If you have questions, you can send us an email. Give us a call or check out the website. Thank you.